Clarissa Louise clocking in with a tremendous, I just want to really just come on and wish you guys a tremendous Thursday. Today is Thursday, June 23rd. I'm feeling fabulous. I'm feeling good. And I just said while I get this walk started, before I get all out of breath, I want to come on and tell my jewels to have a tremendous, tremendous, tremendous Thursday and a tremendous weekend. And let's just make today great. Give you guys some quick words of encouragement. Piggyback off of a quote that I ran up on this morning. Um, elaborate a little bit on it and encourage you guys. Encourage myself. And then I'm going to let y'all go. So first, I want to look up the definition of tremendous with y'all. But I got to figure out how to, there it go, where I can show y'all what it says okay so no that's not the one just yet that is the one but uh where's the definition oh i gotta go to google okay choose but i wonder okay y'all this is my first time doing this so let me um hold on hey how you doing wishing you guys a tremendous thursday so we about to look up the definition of what tremendous mean. And then I wanted to elaborate on this beautiful quote that I, inspirational quote that I ran up on this morning. So uh, let me get the tremendous. Okay. Let's try this again. Okay. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Okay. So tremendous. I know y'all know what tremendous mean, but I'm just going to remind you. Y'all know we need a reminder every now and then, don't we? <laughs> My day is good. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> mm. Y'all, I have really, really bad allergies. <laughs> I'm allergic to the whole outside. But I love nature. I love working out outside. I love coming out, listening to the trees, talking to the trees. Um, listening to the wind, watching the wind move, all of nature. I just love it, even though I'm allergic to every grass and tree God ever made. I really should be living in a box. But, well, a bubble. But I can't. Okay. So, tremendous. Notable by reason of extreme size, power, greatness, or excellence. Tremendous problems. Okay, here's an example. Tremendous problems, a writer of tremendous talent, often used as a generalized term of approval, had a tremendous time, usually large, a huge, tremendous number of people. Tremendous means greatness, large, um, amazing. Have a big, large, amazing Thursday is basically what I'm trying to say. So, let's get to the next one. <clears throat> so, then I ran up on this one. And um, I wanted to piggyback and encourage you guys off of this quote. And this will be what I come on and do every time I come and um, start a workout. Or just whenever the Spirit lead me to come on and encourage you guys because encouraging y'all encourages me so this one says allow yourself good morning um allow yourself to be so focused on living in peace getting paid and walking in i know y'all seen this one before on instagram getting paid and walking in purpose that you have no time to worry about what people pleasing about people pleasing pettiness or irrelevant opinions Guys, I like this one because I live my life by this one. I have lived my life by this quote ever since I was a kid. I never cared about what people thought of me. I never cared. Shoes. I came out of the closet with being um, attracted to women when I was in high school. 
freshman, and I was always attracted to women, even in elementary. But my parents started finding out um, when I was a freshman in high school. And it's just now my whole family knows. And my parents are ministers. So that goes to show you that I have been walking in my own purpose, in my own world, in my own bubble, pretty much living my own life and not caring about people pleasing and their irrelevant ass opinions. I don't care what you think about my lifestyle. I don't care about what you think of my sexual preference. I don't care about any of that. I'm focused on me and especially I think that this quote right here means so much more mentally and spiritually to me right now because I really am living, 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 living this. Like, I really am not worried about the petty shit that's going on on the internet. Like, for all the way down to the government and the news and the scams and the lies. And everything is just fake. Everything we look at on TV is fake. All the way down to the news. So, trust me, it's some real stuff out there, but they add to it, take away, subtract and divide it. We, you should know that. But I really live in a bubble. I don't see nobody else but my family, my goals, and spirit. That's it. I focus on my inner peace, my inner spirituality, pouring and paying attention to my children, my girls, making sure they're okay, making sure they're spiritually inclined. And it's rough. It ain't easy out here being a parent of two girls that's on two different walks of life. And then we all three on three different walks of life. Child, honey. So yes, allow yourself to be focused. Allow yourself to only focus on living in peace. Protect your peace, babies. Protect your peace, Jules. Please, please be careful about the environment that you go in. Stop going around into places and hanging with, going to around people, places, and things that don't mean you no good. And you know in your heart they don't mean you no good. But you still go and you still hang with them and you still break bread with them. You still go to the club with them. You still get on the phone with them. When you know in your own heart they don't mean you no good. But you still hold on to what you feel like is normal for you. Because you may have been knowing these people for years. You may have went to high school with these people. You may have even was in, known them from kindergarten to elementary and graduated with them. But if something don't sit right deep down in your spirit about the connection, the environment, and they not pouring nothing into you that's positive and encouraging the way you do them, then it's time for you to look the other way and start choosing you and your peace. Getting paid, get your bag, get your bag. There's so many bags out here in this world to be made. Which bag is yours? How many bags do you want? I know I want seven plus bags. I want seven plus bags, okay? I'm working on those bags right now. I don't care if I got to work a couple, of, I don't care if I got to work a, a, a nine to five, have me um, in six side hustles. I'm going to the bag. I'm going to stack my bag and I'm going to try my best because we know not the hour nor the time that it's going to be up for us on this life, on this planet. But I'm going to try my best to reach every single one of my bags before I leave this earth. That's why time is tremendously important to me. Time is tremendously valuable to me. To me, Time is like money. And do you like wasting money? Hell yeah, we waste a lot of money. It's a lot of shit we buy that we shouldn't. That we should be sacking and not spending that money on. But we need to stop wasting money and time and get to the bag and do something tremendous with the bag when we get it. Okay. <laughs> I like that one. Okay. Getting paid and walking in your purpose. Walk in your purpose. What do you like to do? You don't know what purpose is. You don't know what your purpose is. What is it that you have a passion about? That you know without a shadow of a doubt that you would never get tired of. 
you would never get weary of it. If you had to do it every single day, you would wake up every day energized, happy, and do it willingly for hours at a time. What is that? Answer that question to yourself. Write it down and start journaling. Start scripting and writing out what it is you love to do. And when you start looking at that list and see what it is, it can be multiple things you love to do. When you look at that list of the things you love to do and that you are truly, truly, truly passionate about, figure out a way how to flip it into revenue. Because right before that phrase, it say getting paid. Focus on living in peace and getting paid. Protect your peace. Get your energy straight. Take a look at your surroundings. Subtract, divide, and multiply some whatever you need to do in that area. Get paid. And the only way you're going to get paid is by walking in your purpose. Because what you do for passion, what you do for spirit, what you do out of spirit and love and truth and honesty is only what's going to get you to the bag that you need to get paid. Don't let that go over your head. Okay, walking your purpose that you have no time. Didn't we just speak about time? We don't got time. Time is like money. Time is like the bag. Treat your time like you trying to treat getting your bag. Treat your time like you trying to figure out what your purpose is. Because we don't have the time to waste on the money nor the purpose. The purpose is precious. The purpose brings abundance. The purpose brings revenue. The purpose being, brings peace. The purpose brings happiness. The purpose brings stress free. The purpose will allow you to stop people pleasing. It will allow you to stop worrying about all the pettiness that's going on in your life and in this world and on social media and in the news. And the purpose will not have you given a damn about irrelevant opinions. That's it. it. The purpose sums it all up. When you get your journal and you start writing down your purpose, figuring out, soul searching, pretty much. If you don't know what your purpose is, honey, I, I've done it. I will never, ever tell you nothing or suggest or advise nothing that I have not done for myself. And the things that I have done for myself and saw what it brought me is the only thing I can talk about because I've already lived it. So that's the only advice I can give you is what I have already lived. I would never come on this camera and post nothing giving you some advice that I didn't heard from another motivational speaker or somebody else. I'm only giving you, I'm straight cutting straight to the fact every time I come talk to you and I'm digging straight into what Clarissa Louise has already done. Okay? That's the only way I can give it to you. It might be what I have already done, and it might be what I'm trying to go do. So that way, I could take you with me, and I can come back and tell you, okay, well, I had to do X, Y, and Z so I could di so I can get um, B back to B, C, and D, or however you want to put it. I'm going to show you and give you the stepping stones, give you the blueprint if it is something I have not done yet. If it's something I ain't done and I want to do it, then I'm going to come and show you what I did to get it. Because it might be somebody out there that want to do what I did. And it might help them be able to get it faster. And it might help them not make the mistakes that I made the f time trying to get it. So if I come and tell you how I made the mistake and what I learned from that lesson, then you can skip learning the lesson and go straight to the prize. That's what I'm here for. And that's what I want to see for you. So that's it, guys. That's it. Allow yourself to be so focused on living in peace, getting paid, walking in your purpose, that you have no time in this world to worry about people pleasing, pettiness, and irrelevant opinions. Love you guys. See y'all guys on the next vlog. Bye, Jules.